Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community with videos on mental health, self-help and self-improvement. So if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed and you've turned the bell notification button on so you never miss our helpful videos that are going to help you. Today's helpful video is on generalized anxiety disorder and it's coming up right after this. Ostracized from a cruel society Just cause I suffer from a little anxiety Please help me I say quietly through gritted teeth and a fight for sobriety Life is stressful for the majority of us And it's normal to feel anxious from time to time However, worrying excessively Being anxious most of the time And struggling to control that worry or anxiety Could be a sign of generalized anxiety disorder. Generalized anxiety disorder is also known and referred to as GAD. Anyone in the world can suffer from generalized anxiety disorder. It can affect children, teenagers, adults, men, and women. Research has shown that women are twice as likely to be affected by generalized anxiety disorder than men. People who suffer from generalized anxiety disorder tend to always expect something bad to happen to them or a loved one. They will constantly worry about their health, money, family, school or work. Their worry is often out of proportion with the situation that they are worrying about or it's unrealistic or unlikely to happen or occur. Generalized anxiety disorder involves a lot of what if thoughts. What if I embarrass myself at the party that I go to on Friday night? What if something happens to the pilot on the plane that I'm on? What if I break my leg playing football? What if my parents become seriously ill in the future? What if, what if, what if? These what-if thoughts stop a lot of people from doing things that they want in their life because of the what-if fears. I will give you an example of this. I have personally been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder and I constantly worry all the time what if when I'm in public or in a social situation I fall over and throw up in front of everybody and they turn around, point at me and start laughing at me. And because of those what if thoughts and the constantly worrying that those what if thoughts might become true, I try to avoid social situations or public settings because of it. I know that it's unlikely to happen and it's unrealistic, but I still worry about it. Living with generalized anxiety disorder is living in a constant state of fear, dread, and worry. This anxiety, fear, dread, and worry eventually takes over somebody's life to the point where it interferes with their day-to-day -day routine, including school, work, social life, and relationships. Not everybody who suffers from generalized anxiety disorder has exactly the same symptoms. Everybody will experience different symptoms when it comes to generalized anxiety disorder. Generalized anxiety disorder symptoms are broken down into three types, emotional, behavioral, and physical. Emotional symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder include constant feelings of worry, dread, or apprehension. Intrusive thoughts about things that make you anxious. You try and stop thinking about them, but you can't. Overthinking everything. And inability to control your feelings of anxiety or worry. Behavioral symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder include inability to relax, difficulty concentrating and feeling like your mind is going blank, putting things off because of how you're feeling, and avoiding places, people, or situations that make you feel anxious or worry. Physical symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder include difficulty falling asleep, or staying asleep because your mind is racing, feeling tense, having body aches or muscle tightness, headaches, 
stomach problems such as diarrhea or nausea, feeling constantly tired and sweating way more than usual. You should see a doctor or a mental health professional if you feel like you're worrying too much, it's interfering with your life or you cannot control your worry or anxiety anymore. The earlier you seek help, the easier it may be to treat your generalized anxiety disorder. If you need help or you think you're suffering with generalized anxiety disorder, there's a link in the description box down below where you can speak to someone immediately and begin to get the help you need and deserve. The link is in the description box down below. I would highly recommend you go there at the end of this video. The causes of generalized anxiety disorder could be because of biological and environmental factors, which may include genetics, differences in brain chemistry and function, development and personality, or differences in the way threats are perceived. Generalized anxiety disorder also often occurs with other mental health conditions, which can include phobias, panic disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, and depression. Please do not self-diagnose yourself from this video. If you have some of the symptoms we have gone over together in this video, or you think you are suffering from generalized anxiety disorder, please seek professional help immediately. You can see a doctor, a mental health professional, or click the link in the description box down below where you can speak to someone immediately who can help you. Please do not self-diagnose yourself from this video. I now want you to guess how many times I said generalized anxiety disorder in this video and comment in the comment section down below your answer or your guess. The winner will win an authentic mental health t-shirt. I will reveal the winner on Twitter on December the 10th. So make sure you're following us on Twitter so I can contact the winner. Good luck. I said generalized anxiety disorder a lot in this video. Have you ever been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder before? What symptoms do you experience and how does it affect your life? Let me and others know in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, found it useful and helpful, please give this video a like and let other people know they are not alone going through this and they are not alone suffering from generalized anxiety disorder. Take care guys and girls and I'll see you all again in another video.